let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. Octopus <laughs> in the neighborhood, surfing on a sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. On the magic school bus. Alligator nostril. Climb on the magic school bus. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. On. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. I just don't get it. Last spring, there were so many salmon here, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. There were big, beautiful, silvery salmon. My Uncle Brian and I saw tons of them, swimming around, eating little fish, doing what salmon do. Then where are they now? We haven't had a bite all day. And if we don't catch any fish, what will we serve at the all-school fish fry? You promised fish, Ralphie, when you organized the picnic and the baseball game. I know, I know. Let's just stick it out a little longer. We have to catch something. Whoa! A fish on! A big one! We're saved! Help! Oh, hold on, Ralphie! Ugh, we've got you! Whoa! A whale of a meal coming right up. Here's Miss Frizzle. Thanks for fishing me out, class. I was just testing our new fearsomely fast flippers, and I have to say they are fantastic. I wish I could say the same thing about the fishing, Miss Frizzle, but you're the only thing we've caught all day. Oh, dear. Don't tell me there's a salmon famine when you've promised the whole school fish. I don't understand it. They used to be here. Mm, I'd do anything to find those fish. Hmm. As my taunting filter would probably say, there's something fishy going on here. To the bus, class! But we're already on the bus. Single file, please. Are we going home, Miss Frizzle? When your salmon have up and gone, it's time to get up and go. Hit it, Liz! <laughs> Wait a minute! We're supposed to look for salmon, not become one. Actually, class, the bus hasn't turned into a real salmon, but with this new microbus software, it will think it has. This disc programs the bus to have a brain and a memory, exactly like a salmon, so it'll go wherever your salmon went, Ralphie. Remackerel, isn't it? Uh, well, I guess so. <laughs> Just as long as we get home on time. Don't clam up now, Ralphie. Show some muscle. We've got fish to fry. Guess what, Ralphie? We've been frizzled. Check out these big screen TVs. What are they for, Miss Frizzle? Well, they're microbus windows, Dorothy Ann. They let us see what the bus is thinking. Wow. I'll tell you what the bus is thinking. It's in the mood for sushi. You mean the bus is going to eat... As my cousin Poseidon always says, the fresher the fish, the better. Yeah. It looks like salmon stick to a seafood diet. They see food and eat it. And it liked what it saw. This is cool. Over here we get information about smells in the water. And the joystick's got smellorama. Ah, the smell of the open sea. Over here, quick, Miss Frizzle. Something weird is happening. Man, look at that wiggly line. It's a pressure sensor. Changes in water pressure tell salmon about other things in the water to watch out for. You mean a salmon can actually feel the water pressure? Yep. That line shows what the salmon can sense without using its eyes. Whoopsie! 
Woo! Sounds like a big one. Shark! Yikes! Oh, just look at those teeth. Excuse me, Miss Frizzle, but we're out of here. Something's wrong. The gas pedal doesn't work, and the steering wheel won't turn. Of course not, Ralphie. We're not in control anymore. We're not? Then who is? The bus, of course. It's thinking like a salmon. But we can't be safe in the hands of a salmon. We're finished. Come on. Even a salmon has to take chances, make mistakes, and get eaten. <laughs> Slip, just like a true salmon. Oh, what do you say we just forget finding salmon for the fish fry and go home before it's too late? Hey, look, guys! Oh no, it's feeding time again. Brace yourselves, everyone. Huh? huh? That's weird. The bus was eating everything it could catch before, and now it's suddenly not hungry anymore. Look, salmon, real ones. And everybody seems to be going in the same direction. Miss Frizzle, I know I said I'd do anything to find salmon for the fish fry, but I've changed my mind. Please, can we go back? Please. No way you can flounder now, Ralphie. The bus thinks it's a salmon, and there's no stopping Wait it. Wait a minute. According to my research, when a salmon loses its appetite and starts swimming, and is joined by a bunch of other salmon all going in the same direction, it can only mean one thing. What? We're migrating. You mean like birds in the fall? So maybe we're looking for a new place to live. Now? But I want to go home. Oh, Arnold, home is where the heart is. But where are we going? I don't care where we're going. How do we stop? to migrate, travel thousands of miles. And it could take months! Which means we might make it back in time for our senior picnic. Except that I have a plan. It better be good, Ralphie. Of course it's good. It's caviar. We'll just go outside and turn the bus around. Hey, that is good. Wow, she never says that. Uno momento, small fry. Don't go out without your flippers. They just might come in handy. Lots of luck! Wow, look at all these salmon! I feel like a real shrimp. Oops, sorry, Juan. It's okay. Too bad we don't have those pressure sensors that help salmon feel what they don't see with their eyes. Quit carping, you guys! Let's stop this salmon wannabe so we can <gasps> go home! Okay, now, everybody, hold hands! We're not stopping! Do something, Miss Frizzle! I'm afraid that's not possible, class. It's not gonna stop! The bus has a place to go and things to do. We're gonna be salmon! Now what are we gonna do? There's only one thing to do. Catch it and stop it. Follow that fish! The computer's locked in. I can't change our course. The bus thinks it's a salmon, and it's determined to go where the salmon are going. According to the bus, the water's getting less salty. Fresh water means we can't be in the ocean anymore. You're right, Phoebe. I think we're migrating toward a river. But saltwater fish die in fresh water. It just means salmon are amazing creatures that can switch safely from being saltwater to freshwater fish. A perfect flip-flop. You. That's a relief. We're gaining on them, partners. Let's corral that bus. Only thing is, Ralphie, the bus has stopped. All the salmon stopped. What's going on? Hey, look at that one. What's happening to its mouth? And look at that one's belly. Miss Frizzle, Miss Frizzle, the bus and the salmon are changing right before our eyes. That's right, Ralphie. Kind of like you will when you become a teenager. Only salmon change in fishier ways. 
Maybe we've reached our destination. But why would salmon migrate here? Why would they leave the big, wide ocean? It's as if we're waiting for something. Right as rain, the river is low, and there's not much water coming down. So, are the salmon waiting for the water to rise? Swim for cover! Yikes! This place is dangerous! We better warn Miss Frizzle. What is that smell? It reminds me of something somewhere, but I can't say what. I don't recognize it. But I think the bus does. The bus thinks the smell is coming from there. Oh, I just love it when everybody thinks. According to the pressure sensor, we've got company. Not another shark. Seal alert! Seal alert! Let us in! Open the hatch, Liz! Whoa! Phew! That was a close one. The danger's gone, but the bus is still sensing some kind of pressure change. Wait a second. It's been raining. I bet the water level is rising. Here we go again! I thought the salmon were done migrating. Where are they going now? Okay, big guy. Now what? Don't worry. I have another plan. I hope it's better than the last one, Ralphie. This one is caviar a la mode. Since we can't stop that bus on our own, we'll hook that guy into catching it for us. It is good, Ralphie. Didn't she say that the last time? Get ready! Grab it! Huh? I saw the bus coming! Full starboard! Starboard! Uh-oh! Made it hook ahead! Oh, please, bus! Don't see it! If it doesn't see it, it'll probably smell it! This bus is pretty smart. Maybe it won't take the bait. We took the bait! Isn't this thrilling? Or should I say, gilling? I say we're cooked! Or we'll be soon! Oh boy, a yellow salmon! Wait till Cindy sees this. Okay, we caught the bus. So how do we get it off the hook? Well, we just, uh, 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 uh... You don't know? It's not in the plan? Think, Ralphie, think! Think, Salmon, think! You're mine now! Phoebe. This plan is foolproof. The bus will never make it over the dam. So then it can take us home. There she blows. Those salmon don't stand a chance. Wow! Yay! We stopped the salmon bus. I knew it would work. No matter how much a salmon wants to migrate, it can't overcome the plan of all plans. Then again, I guess it can. Their determination is awesome! But where are they going? And why? Hey! The smell is really strong now! And the buses stop moving, and the picture's complete! I'd say we're here! This is the place. We've reached the destination of our migration. This is just a little stream. There's hardly even enough room for us. 
So, why'd we leave the nice big ocean to come to this very spot? I can't believe it! We came all this way just to dig a hole? Oh, not just any hole, Dorothy Ann. You'll see. Hey, you guys! Let us in! So my plan was a dud and the bus migrated anyway. Can we please go home now? Sure thing, Ralphie. After one more egg experience. Whoa! <gasps> Holy mackerel! The bus just laid eggs, and we're in them! <laughs> I guess the yolk's on us. <laughs> Carlos! But what about going home? Look at it this way, Ralphie. As soon as we hatch, this will be home! And now we know why salmon migrate. To find a place to lay their eggs. Well, that's why the females migrate. But what about the males? Those hook-jawed guys? Excuse me, sir. We were just wondering. Any particular reason why you're here? <laughs> A salmon he went to court and he did swim. Mm -hmm. A salmon he went to court and he did swim. Mm -hmm. A salmon he went to court. There's your answer, Carlos. What? Is he some sort of car wash? No. Don't eggs have to be fertilized by the males before they can grow and hatch? Yes. So salmon migrate to make baby salmon. That's it. The reason for migration is creation. And we're going to be the next generation of salmon. It's time to hatch the new batch. Get ready to dig in, Liz. Hey! The bus is burying us alive! It must be okay. The real salmon are burying their eggs, too. Be kind and egg. Okay. Getting fertilized? Okay. Getting buried in an egg? Not okay. Oh, I think I should have stayed home today. Is it just me, or are these egg cartons getting a little tight? Tight is right, Robbie. I'm going to speed things up a bit, class. Let's break an egg. <sighs> Let's see if hatching's all it's cracked up to be. And I sure feel a lot safer here than I would in the big wide ocean. You've got that right. In the ocean, we'd just be some big whoppers side of fries. So that's why salmon migrate to quiet little streams, to give their babies a chance to live. Hey, speaking of fries, I'm hungry. My yolk sack's history. Let's find food. Eggs, alevins, Right on schedule. Next stop, salmon fry. Eat your little hearts out, class. If I didn't know we were fish, I think we were pigs. All we do is eat. Eat and grow, eat and grow. Mmm, there's just so much yummy food here. And that, my little salmon, is par for the course. You know, this stream is a great place for a salmon to grow up. I say we give the bus three cheers for migrating here. Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! But how come salmon in the ocean know about this place? I mean, who told them about it? Where'd they get the map? Yeah, there is something fishy about that. There's everything fishy about it, class. Think, think. Think like a salmon. How would a salmon know about a river hundreds of miles away and be able to find it? 
Well, the bus kept smelling a place that was far away and trying to make a picture of it. Yeah, like it had seen it a long time ago and was trying to remember it. And as the smell got stronger, the picture got clearer and we got closer. I think we smelled our way here because this place, this stream, was what the bus was remembering. That's it. The salmon know this is a great place to grow up because they grew up here themselves. So when salmon migrate, they smell their way back home. And no matter what the dangers, perils, or obstacles in the way, grown-up salmon migrate to the safe streams where they were born to give their kids a good chance to survive. Good thinking, class. Oh, I knew if you put your fins together, you'd fish out the truth. All right. Fishin accomplished. Carlos! Hey, wait a minute. Big fish can't stay around here. They've got to get back to the ocean, don't they? You mean fish migrate twice to the ocean and back again? They do indeed. Little streams are good for little salmon, but the ocean is better for big salmon. So, are we going to migrate again? Yeah, only instead of going to the ocean, we're going to a fish fry. Do the bus! Miss Frizzle's class is late. Ralph the organized a fish fry and baseball game, so why should they show up on time? They're only bringing the fish. We're here with potato fish fries for all. Potatoes? What's the matter? Couldn't find any salmon? Oh, we found salmon, all right, Janet. But we found them migrating. They were making a journey so incredible, we decided to let them be. You're making that up. As my friend, the Sturgeon General, used to say, once you've seen a salmon on the move, the rest is potatoes. <laughs> The producer speaking. What can I do for you? Well, I really like to show about salmon migrating, but after mulleting it over for a while, I have a few questions. Fish sticks. I thought the show was really clear, but go ahead, ask away. You made salmon seem like superheroes. They swim upriver against the current. They leap tall dams in a single bound. Well, it's true. The urge to migrate is so strong, they'll do almost anything to get home. I'll bet lots of them get knocked off on the way, between seals and fishermen. And bears and birds, and there are other hazards too, like pollution. So it's a really dangerous, even deadly journey. More salmon die than live. Yeah, but hey, don't be a downer. Every year, enough salmon reach their destination to get to the big payoff at the end. Yeah, they have kids, but wait a minute. How come you made it seem like salmon migrate in a day? It takes about six months. They leave the ocean in the spring and get to the rivers where they were born in the fall. You're right. We had to fudge the time just because it's TV. And you fudge time again. You showed the salmon eggs hatching ruined a little salmon in just a few minutes. That usually takes two years. You're right. Another fudge. Liz. Just one more thing. You're not really fishing, are you? I mean, not after producing that show. Well, yeah, I am. After all, I'm just part of the food chain, too. Well, I hope you don't catch anything, especially not a salmon. <laughs> don't worry, I never catch anything. 
And I promise if I do, I'll throw it back. <laughs> Bye. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Just to make your day complete, you might get. Better.